Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent in Canterbury and in this video clip I want to discuss with you the concept of specific activity and turnover number of an enzyme. Now before we get started, let's have a look at some uh, definitions. So the specific activity of an enzyme is defined as the amount of substrate and we want to have that in mole. It's the amount of substrate that one milligram of the enzyme can convert in a product in a given time. The turnover number of an enzyme is the number of substrate molecules, in this case, that one molecule of the enzyme can convert into a product, again, within a given time. So the unit for the specific activity, specific activity unit, would be, and try to figure that out for yourself, so we want to have mole of substrate, mole of substrate divided by one milligram of enzyme one milligram of enzyme times time and that's very often minute or seconds we come to the unit of the turnover number uh, in a little bit. Okay, now let's have a look at an example. So we have 0 0.5 milligram of an enzyme. And this enzyme has a Vmax of 10 millimolar per minute. And we carry out the reaction in one milliliter. So what is the specific activity for that? So we said specific activity and we can do that again with dimensional analysis which I have shown you in uh, previous videos. So specific activity. We just have a look again at our units that we, uh, we are using. So we want to have the mole of substrate divided by milligram of enzyme times the time that we are looking for. So, this is the unit that we have, and now we can use the dimensional analysis, um, and we can say, okay, do we have the unit of mole somewhere? Well, actually, the unit of mole is given in this molarity here, so we have 10 times 10 to the minus 3 mole per liter and minute. So that's here millimolar, that's mole per liter, and this 10 to the minus 3, that is indicated by this uh, milli. So we have mole, that's what we want to have, and we have minute, that's what we want to have. So we just want to get rid of the liter. Do we have liter anywhere? Yes, we have liter. We have liter here. So we write this so that the milliliter are now on top of this fraction line. So we have 1 times 10 to the minus 3 liter. We see the liters cancel out. And all we need to do is now we need to also get the milligrams and we want this down in the, in the denominator. So all we need to do is we get this 0 0.5 milligram from here. And so we've got our numbers together. So we can now do the calculation and we can say we have 10 times 10 to the minus 
3 mole times 1 times 10 to the minus 3, the liter cancel out, divided by minute times 0 0.5 milligram. And that's quite easy to calculate, so that would give us uh, 10 times 10 to the minus 6 mole divided by minute times 0 0.5 milligrams and we can calculate that and we can uh, make it a little bit easier so we can 10 divided by 0 0.5 that gives us 20 and 10 to the minus 6 that would be micromole divided by minute and milligrams. So that would be our specific activity in this particular case. Now if we want to calculate the turnover number, uh, we use our specific activity. We know that the specific activity is 20 micromole of substrate per milligram of enzyme and per minute. And all we need to do now is we need to convert this milligram of enzyme into moles of enzyme. And we know that uh, the molecular mass of the enzyme is 40,000 gram per mole. That's our enzyme, that's the molecular mass of the enzyme. So what we can do is we can now get the uh, conversion. Again, we can do that with dimensional analysis. And what we want is, as a unit, we want, say, mole of substrate divided by mole of enzyme times minute. Okay, so we have, do we have mole somewhere? Yes, we have got mole here. So we can write this as 20 times 10 to the minus 6 mole per milligram and minute so the or, or I can uh, yes uh, I, 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 I'm happy with the minute here I'm happy with the mole and now I want to get rid of this milligram and I need to convert it into mole and uh, I write this as 20 times 10 to the minus 6 mole divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 3 grams. That's the conversion from milligram into gram times minute. And I want to get rid of the gram. Do we have grams somewhere? Yes, we've got gram here. So we write this that the grams cancel out. So we have 40,000 grams per mole. And what I've, of enzyme, I should say here. So what we've got, we can cancel out the grams and we have 20 times 10 to the minus 6 mole times 40,000 divided by 1 times 10 to the minus 3 mole of enzyme and minute mole enzyme and times minute. And now I can put that in the calculator and calculate 
how much I've got uh, left. So I've written that uh, again here. And if I put that in the calculator, I get 800. 800 moles of substrate or 800 molecules I can write. 800 molecules of substrate are converted by one molecule of enzyme molecule of enzyme in one minute. And now what I can do is I can just simply say, okay, I can more or less cancel the molecules here. And I can say the turnover number, the turnover number is 800 per minute, 800 per minute. And this means that one molecule of enzyme can deal with 800 molecules of substrate per minute. This is a fairly good enzyme. It's not uh, terribly good. There are better enzymes who have higher turnover over numbers, but it is a decent enzyme and obviously it does the trick. So I hope this makes sense and you understand how you can calculate specific activity of an enzyme and the turnover number of, of such an enzyme. Thank you very much for watching and um, keep up the good work.